to that building show to further perpetuate that narrative. So I'd like to hear from you, especially for anyone who has ever been built by and canceled, how you overcame that experience and went on to build an empire. Yeah, if you listen to my most recent episode with Heidi and Spencer Pratt, we talk about the importance of authentic authenticity and consistency. One of my good friends from the Bachelor franchise is Ashley Ida Kennedy. If you watch the show, when she was first on the show, she was poorly portrayed as some like Kardashian wannabe who was just very messy and dramatic. And she can be messy and dramatic, but she also is incredibly smart, she's incredibly motivated, she's a wonderful person, and Ashley was always true to herself. So every time she went on TV, you saw the same Ashley, but you saw more sides of her, right? And so over time, people were just like, okay, yeah, she's not just messy and dramatic, but she's also X, she's also Y, she's also Z, but also I trust who she is because she's always the same person. And I think if you are true to who you are and you know what you're, you know, you prioritize your character, you might step in it, you might have to apologize, but as long as you are consistent, people will appreciate your authenticity. And so, yeah, I, I always say, like, I don't really care if people agree or disagree with me on my show. I don't care if they like me or dislike me. I just care that they care what I, what I have to say. And I'd rather be respected than liked. And you know that's a, a big important thing for me. And so I continue to try to be authentic with who I am and consistent with what I'm doing. And over time, I think people have just like almost reluctantly started liking me and listening to me. It's just like, oh shit, I didn't, really, didn't think I'd listen to his advice. I didn't think I'd watch a show, but like I find myself enjoying it. You know, and I think a lot has to do with consistency and trust and authenticity.